So Insta360 has just launched the Insta360 One. It's an amazing new 360 camera and I've covered so many 360 cameras uh, uh, in uh, 360rumors.com and this is probably the most amazing 360 consumer camera I've come across. And so in this video I'm going to talk about its specifications, its features, and why this could be the best 360 camera for consumers for under $350. So the Insta360 One is a smartphone 360 camera so um, you know it, it this category was invented by Insta360 when they released the Insta360 Nano and this has become one of the hottest um, segments for 360 cameras the Insta360 uh, connects to your smartphone but it can also be used independently so, so here are its key specifications Photo resolution is 24 megapixels. It's 6912 by 3456. But what makes it different is that it can also shoot in RAW. And the video resolution is 4K, uh, so 3840 by 1920 at 30 FPS. But uh, it can also shoot in log mode, so you can grade it yourself. Um, it can also shoot at 60 FPS at 2560 by 1280. Um, it has uh, six axis gyro stabilization, uh, one of the hot new features of 2017, and can live stream in 4K uh, in either 360 mode or in tiny planet uh, view, and you can control the view however you want. So, right now it's only for iOS, it's got a lightning connector, but an Android version is in the works and should be available very soon. So, for memory, it uses a micro SD card or your phone's internal memory. Um, and uh, the Insta 361 includes an 8 gigabyte micro SD card to get you started. So one of the unique things about the Insta 361 is that it can be used in three ways. Either uh, it can be attached to your phone um, and uh, used as a smartphone camera accessory or it can be used as a standalone um, 360 camera or it can be used as a, a standalone camera controlled remotely with your smartphone's Bluetooth connection. So there will be many accessories for the Insta 361. There will be um, a, a waterproof case, um, a GoPro style action mounts, uh, a drone mount will be available in the future, and there will also be an invisible selfie stick. A selfie stick that was designed specifically so that uh, when you're using it with the Insta 361 it will appear invisible as if you're holding or controlling a flying 360 camera. So let's talk about the Insta 361's features. First of all it has free capture. It, uh, to, just to put it briefly it's a way to convert the 360 video into a non 360 video. There are already several video editors that are able to convert a 360 video into a non 360 video. But what makes the Insta 361 different is that first of all, this capability is built into the app. So uh, you're gonna be able to do it uh, while you're on the road. You don't have to wait till you get back to your desk, uh, desktop and uh, edit the video. Secondly, uh, the way they implemented it is really cool. So instead of just you know uh, dragging like um, some your mouse around and like uh, changing the points of view uh, manually, instead uh, you control the point of view using your smartphone, like as if you're you've traveled back in time just to that same moment in time, and you're shooting it with your smartphone. So you you grab your smartphone and you're moving it around. Um, and as you move it around, whatever you record, uh, quote, record on your smartphone, that's how it will look like when, you can, when the video is converted into a uh, 16 by 9 uh, full HD video. So another key feature of the Insta361 is smart tracking. So again, this is a, a way of converting the uh, 360 video into a really cool non 360 video and uh, what what it does is uh, you capture the 360 video right and then you you uh, highlight a subject in your uh, 360 video and as that subject moves the the video will follow it 
uh, and track it around um, as the subject moves around the 360 video so it creates like a, um, kind of like a similar effect to um, a smart tripod that remote control tripod that follows your every movement uh, the third key feature of the Insta 361 is bullet time so uh, it shoots super slow motion it's either 60 fps or 120 fps but in addition to that the desktop software can uh, interpolate the video and convert it to 20 240 fps so uh, um, well, there are several ways to use that but uh, one of the cool ways that you can use it is if you attach the uh, insta 361 to a, the invisible selfie stick or to an included wire and then you you turn it around and when you're doing that it looks kind of like the bullet time effect from the matrix right. there are other features that are really cool uh, such as full manual exposure you'll be able to control the iso shutter speed um, there's also exposure compensation uh, white balance you, you'll have full control of all of that um, it also has the true multi-shot hdr mode and as I mentioned earlier, it can shoot photos in raw format or videos in log format, giving you full control over your results. So now let's talk about why this could be the best 360 camera for under $350. So a few months ago, um, I posted this uh, video and this article about the Xiaomi Mi Sphere and how it has image stabilization built in and how you could use it for really cool effects like an invisible uh, 360 camera and yeah. since then uh, there's been a bi steadily building consensus that the Xiaomi Mi Sphere is indeed the best 360 camera for consumers so that's the background but the Insta 361 does everything that the that the Xiaomi Mi Sphere can do but in addition it adds several new features on top of that and improves on those specs further so uh, because it's basically like a better version of the Xiaomi Mi Sphere at about the same price then that's the reason I think the Insta 361 is probably going to be the best 360 camera for under $350 so let's talk about price and availability the Insta 361 will be available starting September 5 for just $300 so you get you get all these prosumer features at the consumer level price and it's going to be available from insta360.com store as well as Amazon uh, B&H photo and Gearbest. check out the links in the description below to get the best price so I hope you found this video helpful for more information, check out the links in the description below. And you can also sign up for this Facebook group uh, for the Insta 361. See the links in the description below for that as well. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, the Insta 361 is on its way to me. I will be posting a review as soon as possible. Um, I'm also going to be reviewing very soon the Yi 360 VR and Ricoh's next generation Theta and I'm going to be comparing them to my existing uh, 360 cameras um, I have around 21 of them at the moment so for more information about 360 cameras and 360 camera accessories please hit the like button and please subscribe thanks very much